The 2024 budget will be passed on Saturday, December the 30th. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, said yesterday, Tuesday, the 19th day of December 2023. Honorable Abbas made this disclosure during the plenary section following the resumption of the Green Chamber after a brief recess to allow committees to scrutinize the budget estimate submitted by President Bola Ahmed Tirubu. The Speaker, however, did not reveal the figure finally agreed on, as it will still harmonize its position with the Red Chambers. It will be recalled that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu presented a budget of 27.5 trillion naira to a joint section of the National Assembly on November the 29th in Abuja. The President had pegged the budget deficit for the 2024 fiscal year at 9.18 trillion and explained that the deficit represented 3.88% of the Nigerian gross domestic product. The deficit will be financed by new borrowing totaling about 7.83 trillion naira and 298.49 billion from the privatization proceeds and 1.05 trillion drawdown on multilateral and bilateral loans secured for specific development projects. Tunubu has stated that this will be one budget of renewed hope. The 27.5 trillion would be Nigerian's largest budget ever. But a nation that is going through a lot of challenges, many economic experts have questioned if this budget can truly help take us out of the woods and push up to the path of recovery and growth. But the big question and the big story for today is will this budget truly renew the hope of Nigerians or just be like all the budget before it? And would implementation not be a problem also as we look through the promises of the passage of the bill before the end of this year? That is what this edition is all about. And we're talking about the 2024 budget passage, Nigerians call for proper implementation. And that's what we're looking at today as a major one today on the show. We're looking at the 2024 budget uh, proposal that is being promised by the House uh, that it will be passed on the 30th day of December. But the biggest question mark still remains is implementation. But to help us implement, or rather talk about it today on the show, uh, we have no other person but economist and also social critic, and I'm talking of Mr. Wilson Igboji. Good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning, Mr. Ray and... Um viewers outside there. Anyway, as Mr. Speaker has said, this will likely, there's every likelihood that the 27.5 trillion 2024 budget proposal that will be passed before the end of the year, still retaining the January and December circle um, that um, many would say it should be, rather than uh, shifting it from how it is. Uh, but if we circle on what he said yesterday, uh, he said they've not been that uh, total harmonization with the Senate on um, the final amount uh, that will be made. But um, I'm, I'm just a bit uh, curious to get your reaction to his promise of the budget, uh, budget being passed um, before next year, as he said. Um, does this have any um, bearing to be that, well, definitely as before we enter into the next year, the budget is passed and it will still retain the January to December cycle. Just your reaction to his promise. Well, we have been told by the speaker that the Green Chamber has done its work. Yes. And uh, they are awaiting the outcome of uh, uh, deliberations with the Red Chamber. And for the end of December 1st, uh, the Red Chamber has had uh, the second passage of um, as they went through the, the budget proposal mm. and had it passed for the second time. But go ahead. Yeah, but that's to say that uh, they have almost uh, harmonized, uh, harmonized their positions the yeah. uh, on the So, on so the, a likelihood the is a setting, as he said, on the 30th, a day before between this year and next year. Uh, of course. Well, let's, let's wait for the outcome. Let's, ha let's know exactly what the figures are. Um, I know by now uh, the, the budget office and the and both uh, houses uh, should have uh, taken very critical look at all that they're going to uh, accept 
as um, <laughs> the budget of hope in quotes. A renewed hope. Yes, a renewed budget of renewed hope in quotes. Because uh, you really cannot say anything um, tangible until the implementation has been effected and, and we are sure that uh, everything is going as expected. Okay, well, l l let me draw you away from that and, and rather take you to another major one. Mm -hmm. And uh, everybody is just looking at it and saying, okay, well, yeah, the passage has to come this year mm -hmm. if we really want to still maintain uh, the January to December circle. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, on the mining specifics we we're not giving yesterday mm -hmm. on the final outcome of what they've agreed on mm -hmm. as it concerns the allocation uh, to the various sectors and government agencies. Uh, because we all know up to last week, we still had some uh, government agencies defending the budget proposal uh, mm -hmm. for the for 2024 budget. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, like I said, l let's, let's come to the issue of uh, December to uh, January to December circle because that's why they are putting a rush into it. Um, when it comes to implementation, when, when it, it comes to monitoring, has it been truly helpful to Nigeria, looking at the January to December circle? Well, I don't think it has been very uh, helpful. So, so it doesn't because matter? Because invariably, mm. over the years, we have always had uh, supplementary budgets. Okay, okay. You know, uh, uh, you know, being emphasized by government, I think it was uh, something that became a norm in these past eight years of uh, APC government. I know it was there before the APC government came into office. Mm. Uh, even but under, it was more strengthened. It, yeah, 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 yeah. It became it, it became a norm. That's what I'm saying. It became a norm. Institutionalized. Yeah, institutionalized. And uh, before the APC government, uh, the government was circumspect about um, raising. Supplementary, budget. supplementary budgets because uh, invariably it, it spills over to the following year of course uh, and sometimes uh, disrupts the total plan for the following year's budget hmm. and i think that's what is uh, that is that is what rec that is what we are heading towards now because uh, looking at uh, the indices and uh, in fact all the figures that have been made available to us uh, a lot of issues they are still questionable one doubts whether uh, the kind of implementation expected of a budget drawn up for the following year that is expected to have been uh, scrutinized by uh, the budget office and the uh, experts and the uh, groups of people, agencies that are supposed to monitor it and ensure that it is implemented. Uh, is the, Still hanging. A lot of a lot of issues are still hanging. For instance, taking a look at it, uh, the figures are available. Uh, as an armchair economist, let me put it that way. Yeah. Uh, I have misgivings about a lot of the things there. Uh, for instance, the recurrent expenditure mm. uh, is nine point. Uh, is almost uh, ten trillion. Ten trillion. And then we have um, um, capital expenditure. Yes. Seven point something trillion. And then we have the debt servicing yeah. aspect of it, eight point something trillion. There's something questionable about that, because invariably we are going to find ourselves borrowing more money than borrowing money to ensure to augment and ensure that that, that could no, but, 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 but looking at the recurrence and that of the capital over the years, it has always the recurrence has always been far more than that of the capital of the mining many economists have come to question the rationale yes i agree with you. I agree, I agree with you quite all right what i'm questioning is the the the, the amount that's going for debt servicing okay it's so high higher than uh the capital uh, expenditure. Uh, expenditure that means that means that somewhere along the line if there's a derailment because the debt, debt servicing profile mm. has not been encouraging at all. Yeah. It, it has not been truly followed. Mm. And, uh, you know, uh, much of this debt is not, uh, was, was not generated internally. Most of it came mm. from, outside. from outside. And so we, 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 we are existing at the mercy of our uh, uh, creditor, creditor. uh, creditors. If they decide to tighten the news on, uh, on the Nigerian government, we are going to have 
to raise money in, internally to, implement to fund it. the capital expenditure. Because if the squeeze becomes too much, we are not going to tamper with recurrent expenditure. Of course not. Because we know it is laid out for specific purposes. Yes. Now we have uh, capital and to expenditure. And to keep the government going. Yeah, that is to say, much of what has been projected will not be implemented. Except the government is going to rely on uh, capricious ways of raising Fund. funds to see that the capital expenditure is implemented as planned. Capricious in the sense that it, 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 the government could resort to taxing, arbitrary taxation, and uh, uh, you know, searching out different areas to ensure that the, the fiscal policies it's are met. And, 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 and you know, the, 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 the the day before uh, the president presented uh, uh, this budget, budget to the joint, to section. The joint session, the 29th of November, you recall, yeah. I, 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 I raised the point. Yeah. I, I said that except government adopts strict principles of fiscal responsibility, except government adopts stringent measures to ensure implementation, we're going to run into problem with this budget. Then, many of these figures have not you know, been, been released. Now, the figures are now clear to us. We are seeing loopholes in some areas. Mm -hmm. We are seeing the profligate as side mm -hmm. of the government. Because a lot of things that have been proposed, mm -hmm. like uh, take for instance, uh, the chief of staff, mm -hmm. um, renovation of his quarters and offices running to 15 billion. This money could have been kept in areas, could have been put into areas that regenerate in the economy. Rather than just being... Rather than just being... It. Yeah, they are tied down. Now, if you are regenerating funds from different places, you will be able to, you know, assess what you are expecting, and then you can plow mm. what is going to come from there when there is a shortfall in the capital expenditure. There are, there, are, there are a lot of loopholes. I know, I know, I know, I know that this government has been relying on this. I uh, just, uh, uh, well, let's do it like this. A, a lot of experimentation going on, but it is dangerous. For a country with a population of two or nearly 220 million people. Yes. Okay, so, so l l let's look at it. Now, all you are saying, irrespective of whether it's January to December, it has not been truly effective. It has because been, of the it, issue of supply. Yeah, the especially this past eight years, it has not been since Okonjo Iwala left that office. A lot of um, you know, a, a lot of things happened really gone smoothly. Okay, now uh, uh, let's leave. And, and, I, and I know you're basing your 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 your, your argument on the issue of implementation. We'll, yeah, we'll, that's it, that's we'll, it. we'll come we'll come later to implementation. Mm. Uh, but but I, I want us to look at another or two major issues as it also concerns the budget. And that is also creating or raising a whole lot of those that raised it before now and after. Mm. Now we're talking about the issue of padding mm. or budget increase uh, from mm. the initial budget proposal of uh, Mr. President. Mm. Now, if we take our minds back to 2023 and when President then, uh, Mohamed Buhari, signed uh, the 22.17 trillion. Um, budget into law on, gen in, on January 3rd, 2023, um, the National Assembly increased the initial budget of 21.83 trillion to 22.81 trillion, and they added 228.1 billion naira for themselves, mm. for the National Assembly. I agree with you, I agree with you. Well, that's what they did. But the Senate of the 10th National Assembly said they have no plan of increasing the budget this year. And we got that from no other person but the leader of the Senate. Sir, sir the, the, yes, Okpaye uh, 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 he, he said it just yesterday mm. that, sorry, well, unlike others, they don't have any plan of increasing the budget from this... said and don't, Ray. From, from this and initial... Don't. <laughs> don't worry, let me land. Mm. From this initial uh, 27.5 trillion that the president has proposed, and, and the reason he said that, we do understand that many Nigerians are wondering why the delay. They feel they want to just put in, pad in some of these amounts and increase the initial budget to something that will be favorable to them. But I, I'm asking you now, to, to, two quick reactions. Number one, let's look at the issue of the constant increase in budgets that seems to profit some particular section and the issue of padding. 
I know you will really would not believe if they will not increase it this year, if they have any plan of not increasing. But, but let's, let's look at that and why that has always been the case. And how really serious is this in affecting our budget implementation? Pardon. Well, one, we, we don't have a strong economy. That's number one. Then number two, we're not an island. We are in the committee of we are we are we are, we, we are one of uh, one country among, among the committee, the committee of, of nations. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, uh, in some cases, just look at the figures, mm. uh, the projection mm. of uh, earnings mm. from uh, petroleum. Mm. One point uh, seven uh, eight barrels mm. a day, mm. and then uh, look at the figures. But, but we are proposing to go to two million. I agree with you. I agree with you. Mm. Uh, you can propose, but uh, you wait <laughs> and see whether the external forces <laughs> will, will make it possible. Be, yeah. And then Nigeria, you know, you understand Nigeria too. Mm. Uh, we have always had problems uh, with the volume of petroleum that is produced every day. We, we don't really because, know the because, yeah. because we have uh, a, a lot of other factors, a lot of other very, very variables operating around us. Oil theft is there. Then we have uh, cases of uh, uh, malfunctioning in the production process. If you can guarantee that these ones are not going to be interfered with, if you can guarantee that external forces are not going to influence a deviation from what we have projected, then okay, let me let me let me let me take the line with you uh, that okay uh, there's a possibility that uh, they are not going to pad up budget. But I, w I want to let you know too that in the overall uh, uh, economy there are we have had instances where um, uh, loopholes are created because if you don't check these loopholes. Go, when we talk about uh, 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 budget planning, you are talking about uh, various sources of revenue that will be we, we, that uh, we contribute mm -hmm. towards the twenty-seven point something trillion. And let me give me. Let me, let, let me say one thing. Yes. Let me say one thing. Uh, if you can, uh, if you if you can eradicate corruption in an NPC, if you can er eradicate corruption in uh, customs, mm. if you can eradicate. Uh, uh, corruption in uh, Nimasa. If you can eradicate corruption, yeah, I think there are about four areas in Nigeria. Nigeria uh, Port Authority. Nigeria, Nigeria Port Authority. If you, no, because these are key areas. Aside, aside from, uh, as, aside from petroleum uh, yeah, that, uh, that helps to generate. Uh, uh, I, 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 I know it's a petroleum uh, uh, production is tied to NNPC. So you can imagine the magnitude of uh, corruption that goes on in NNPC. If you are going to interfere and, and, and ensure that it doesn't come up again, mm. if you are going to be able to handle customs, if you are going to be able to handle NPA, because these are the key areas that fund the economy. If you can handle them well and you tell us you are going to be sure or you are sure of what they will generate, generate in the process of, impl of sourcing of funds for the budget, in the process of implementation, because you have to come up with people that you are sure that will, will, be, will, will, yeah, will, will assist in the implementation oh, okay, now, of the budget. I, I'll still return you back again, because many will say, as, mo as much as you've agreed that if all of these sources are being plugged mm -hmm. and are being rejigged, to ensure that efficiency. Is, that is if, if it's not Nigerians that are going to be involved well, in, well, in, so, in the, so, the sorry, process. That, that, that would be more insulting to Nigerians. Uh, but that's, what, that's, what, that's who and what we are. Okay, but, but let, let, let's come back to the issue of budget padding. That's what we have been known for over the years. Uh, uh, <laughs> Mr. Wilson and Budget, please. Let, let's come to the issue of budget padding. Mm. And many will say the reason the National Assembly sometimes is alleged that they tend to delay the budget is to see what they can put for themselves in the budget. You have already seen what has been going on. And you have it, seen but, but, but now we are getting Bami Dele, the leader of the House, of the Senate, saying, sorry, unlike previous budgets, that things were unnecessarily introduced into it after the budget proposal, this year might be different. That they do not have any plan of increasing their own initial budget proposal for the National Assembly to increase it just like what we saw about 280. 
1.1 billion that was increased in 2023 that the tenth national assembly does have any plan does not have any plan of increasing their own part of the budget to the effect that uh, they, they've, they've already appropriated so much to themselves ah. let us hope that uh, they will stand by these words but i believe very strongly that a lot still has to be done you see uh, 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 President Tinubu has a, a lot to explain to Nigerians. President Tinubu has a lot to demonstrate, to convince Nigerians that they should have confidence in him and his, and, and, and his government. And the easiest way to do it is if, if he uh, will have a team that will assist him in doing things objectively, executing uh, what has been proposed mm. transparently and explaining to Nigerians from time to time that as we have promised, this is how far we have gone. So it's and a periodic update of how... Fine, the fine. That is the only way Nigerians can have confidence in him because he, did, because he has started in a way that uh, Nigerians have lost confidence in everything. Okay, okay. Now, we'll not lose confidence in talking about this, but we we'll really would plead that we need to go on a break now. Yeah. And uh, when we come back, we'll continue our discussion centered on um, the budget proposal that's most likely to be passed on the 30th of December 2023. M many Nigerians are eagerly waiting, knowing that uh, the budget seems to be the lifeline of every uh, thing that seems to be going on and if there's a delay in the passage of that many of the market forces will truly be affected and uh, it will bring about um, recession that we experienced uh, some couple of years back due to the lack and um, of uh, the quick passage of the bill and many will blame uh, the Saraki led uh, eighth national assembly for that very misfortune but anyway no misfortune in us talking about it and making sense out of it let's go on a break and when we come back more discussions